It's Britain's oldest travel company, operating in more than a dozen countries with 19 million customers a year. But Thomas Cook struggled to be profitable. Despite a $1 billion injection of cash earlier this year, the company said on Friday it needed an additional $250 million to stave off collapse. Well, they can't get in either. Bad news for the 600,000 people around the world on Thomas Cook holidays. When word spread about the dire financial situation, this hotel in Tunisia briefly refused to let holidaymakers leave, demanding money, afraid that they wouldn't get paid if the company went bankrupt. I paid more than $2,000 for the holiday. They want more than what I paid. I told them I'm not responsible for Thomas Cook. Basically, it's kind of blackmail. If you pay it, you don't leave. The British government is promising to help anyone stuck abroad. I can reassure people that in the worst case scenario, the contingency planning is there to avoid people being stranded. More than a million people around the world have holidays booked with Thomas Cook. If the company goes bust, there is little danger they will lose their money, thanks to various consumer protection schemes. Thomas Cook is seen as the inventor of the modern day package holiday. A cabinet maker from Yorkshire, he was a strong supporter of the temperance movement and believed travel would help Britons refrain from drinking alcohol. He started out by arranging day trips by train in the 1840s. The excursions proved so popular that within 20 years he was selling tours to continental Europe, the Middle East and the United States. But the modern day company has been under intense financial pressure, rescued from near bankruptcy eight years ago. And how people book their holidays has added to the company's plight. High street travel shops have been facing stiff competition from the internet. And while package holidays like those from Thomas Cook often provide good value, many consumers are now shopping around online, booking their accommodation and flight separately to create a bespoke travel experience. Despite being a mainstay in the British travel industry, analysts say the company struggled to compete. Thomas Cook is a marvellous brand. It has an incredible heritage, but I'm afraid in the 21st century, in the ferocious competition of the travel industry, that counts for nothing. All that matters is, do you have a profitable business? And sadly, in the case of Thomas Cook, we know the answer is no. A 178-year-old business steeped in history, but apparently failing to keep up with modern times. Catherine Stansel, Al Jazeera, London.